Hey guys, this is Dan Kimpel in Los Angeles, California at the ASCAP I Create Music Expo on stage for an interview after an amazing set by the legendary Henry Capono. Thank you very much, Dan. Henry, sounded so good here. What a surprise to see you, man. Tell us why you're in town and what's going on. Well, I'm just uh, here to be a part of the, this whole, uh, this great ASCAP Network um, Expo, you know. Um, came from all the way from Hawaii. And um, it's a great place to be. You know, it's a great place to be around mu mu um, songwriters, musicians, and good to be in LA. I haven't been in Hollywood for a long time. We've missed you, Henry. Oh, I bet you have. <laughs> How long you been an ASCAP member? Uh, Thirty something years. Yeah. Cool. In the beginning. In the beginning of ASCAP yeah, out yeah. there, cool. I think a lot of people don't realize, I mean, obviously ASCAP is all, all over the place and ASCAP has a, has a presence in Hawaii as well. Yes, they do. If we look at the history of Hawaiian music, you know, you can see an evolution from the Hapahale song days back of the pop thing. And then, you know, very famously, there was a renaissance in the early 70s. Right. When a lot of Hawaiian culture really came to the forefront. You were there for that. I was there for that <laughs> 30 something years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was, I think, a, a, a time in, in um, Hawaiian history where people, were, uh, bands were starting to write their own music, you know, and they're playing their own music. And uh, it was a really neat time and really neat style that was starting to come about. And, you know, I happened to be with a group called Cecilio and Capono, and um, we had our own style, we had our own um, music, and we wrote about the things we're doing in Hawaii. You know, we're having fun. We're, we're um, just uh, doing what we felt like doing, you know. We didn't have any responsibilities except for playing music, you know. It was great times. Henry, you talk about, you know, the fact that Hawaii being at a crossroads culturally of so many different cultures. I mean, you know, traditionally, the, obviously the ukulele came from Portugal. And right. um, one of the things we hear now is we hear Jawaiian music. Right. We hear a lot of, a lot of like, Jamaican rhythms kind of transposed on Hawaiian things. Some traditional Hawaiian people have a, or music people have a little... You know, a little energy with that. I mean, what are your thoughts on 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 that particular vibe? Well, uh, you know, it's a it's a it's a it's a generation. You know, a generation thing. Um, it's uh, all all came about with the big re reggae uh, explosion. You know, and um, <clears throat> we picked it up a little later. Um, so it be it evolved into Hawaiian music, which is um, part Jamaican, part Hawaiian. But you know, it's it's a generation. It's that generation pick that music to be part of their lives, you know? Like we had our, our music that was part of our lives, you know? And um, you know, they have rap music now, they have rhythm and blues now, and you know, the, um, that generation, another generation is picking up all of that stuff. So it's kind of interesting to see what's going to evolve, you know, in the next uh, five, 10 years. So it'll be fun. Also, you, you know, reference a one man, the uh -huh. song One Man, and uh, it appears to be that you're feeling with a certain art thing, there comes a responsibility to, yeah. to the art. I think the responsibility, everybody has a responsibility to, to um, be aware of, uh, of each other, you know, be aware of all of us as one, as one man, you know. Um, I think um, United we're greater than, than, than every, anything in the world, but uh, if we keep ourselves separated, they, we're still going to be uh, in trouble, you know. So I think one man is about all men coming together as one. Tell me about Hawaiian music in Japan. Oh, they love it there, you know. They love the traditional Hawaiian music, you know. They're really into it. And I think they have, um, I heard they have over 2,000 hula halawas, you yeah. know. And, um, you know, guys like Robert, the Kusumaro brothers, and uh, mm -hmm. brothers, sons of uh, Makaha sons, mm -hmm. you know, they're always over there, you know, Kelly Reichel. You know. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a big. Um, they love Hawaii. Cool. You know, cool. you know the music seems so related to the dance, especially the kahiko or the the, the, the chanting. And uh, you you also obviously sing in Hawaiian as well, you know. Yes, I did. Actually, I did a Hawaiian album uh, called The Wild Hawaiian, and it's uh, more of an alternative rock, uh, in in all in Hawaiian. <clears throat> And it, um, it got nominated for Grammy a couple of years ago. And um, it's, uh, I'm really proud of it. You know, I wanted to do something that takes the Hawaiian culture to another um, audience, you know, an audience that might not want to listen to Hawaiian music, cool. but might listen to it in this, in this style, you know. And it's, it's been working really well. 
Cool. Well, Henry is an ambassador for Hawaiian music here, stateside and worldwide. You know, your your contributions are very recognized and very amazing. And thanks for being our guest today at ASCAP. Thank you, Dan. Good I to see you, my brother. Thank you very Aloha. much. Aloha. Aloha.